friends, welcome to the channel and yeah, our friends. first ever episode of Culture Tuesday. Yay! I'm Avalon. I'm Sabrina. And we are friends. We are friends. <laughs> and we are talking about whatever catches our fancy. We do have a little game that we just like to play and yeah. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. And we figured this would be a good opportunity for you guys to get to know us a little bit better, which will be fun. Yep, we're ready. I was just playing around with my hair because I was talking about how like side parts are not in, like not side parts, but not the side, middle part. The middle part is in, and I was from like, Gen Z. Yeah, for Gen Z, like the middle part is in, and we're like, we're not Gen Z. We're, so. we're millennial. So I was like, hmm, I wonder what I look like, and I was like, ooh, and I was like, no, I don't, I don't think it. We looks don't better. like it. I don't think it looks better. No. How do you feel about that? I had a middle part when I was six years old in the first grade. <laughs> That's the last time I ever had a middle part. Same with, do you so. remember the bangs that went across the middle? And the blum bangs? Oh, yeah. I had that, too. I'll still and get them every once in a while, but. I don't feel like I would get them every once in a while. I kind of get them every other day. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I like bangs. Yeah. I, I like the bangs. Side bangs, blunt bangs. I think it depends on your face. Like Face shape has a lot to do with it, too. Yeah, I feel like with my eyebrows being so, like, I just like I look at kids pictures like kid pictures of me and I'm like I just feel like a monkey or something. <laughs> like I was like, um it was not uh, a good now you got me all paranoid about my hair. <laughs> Sabrina, yeah, so we're considered we're considered old. Like we're wearing we're doing old stuff. Also mom jeans are in. Yeah, skinny jeans are out. And mom jeans are in, which is so weird to me. Like we would not be caught dead in mom jeans. And they're trying to make those low rise jeans, flare jeans back. It's like no. That was such that's where my eating disorder happened, along with other influences. I'm like, no, I don't want the low rise jeans to come back at all. See, I like low rise. No, nope, then you need your fat. Because if you had like a little bit of a pooch, oh, that came it over didn't it. like suck it in. Yeah. See, but I like, I almost always wear leggings now. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just. But if I wanted to get a new pair of jeans, if that trend came back, that's like the only thing I would find at a lot of stores. Would be those low rise jeans. I don't mind the flare jeans. I like flare jeans. I wore flare jeans. I wore oh, flare I pants. I did too. The boot cuts. Yeah, you know, boot cuts. Ones with the, yeah, yeah, I wore I those used, all the time. Dude, I I wore those. I was one of the people to slowly go over to being in the skinny jean category because I Same. absolutely love the flare jeans. Even um, when Victoria's Secret first had their yoga pants, they were the boot cut flare yoga pants. That was the first style yeah. that they ever had. Loved it. Loved it. But they never made them. Like size short, like or petite, because they always drag on the floor. So like the back end of my shoe would always be like sketch up, torn up, and yeah. like gross. But I love and it. I I remember that too. Like I feel like the reason that I would have to get rid of my pants is because the backs of the, of them were like destroyed. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, because Same you thing. can't really like atone, like not mm -hmm. atone, but like you can't really guess how tall somebody's gonna be, yeah. and like with their size, so they end yeah. up, if they're short, they end up dragging on the ground. Mm -hmm. I'm like 5'1", <laughs> to put that in perspective. I'm average height, so. She's average. Yeah, I'm She's five, like 5'7"? Five, five, no, 5'6". Five, six. Five, six. Yeah. Thanks for giving me a little extra inch, though. I like that. <laughs> hey. I always guess a little taller, and I'll, if you ever want me to guess the weight, I always guess a little bit lower. So, <laughs> we're good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, what's our game? Today. Okay, so our game is getting to, for us to decide how well we know each other. And now we've known each other since we were in kindergarten, like twenty something years. Yes, yeah, so we'll over see. twenty years. How 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 long was that? Let's see. It's we, in kindergarten. You're about four years old, four okay. to five years old. I'm gonna age myself here. I'm twenty eight, so that means that we've known each other for over twenty years. Twenty four to twenty five years. years -ish, yeah. 23 years, so I'll be 28 in May. She's a youngin. <laughs> I'm young. She's a youngin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Any hoot. Um, Any hooter tooters. So the point of the game is we're, we have a list of questions that um, I kind of looked up, and they it was just like a random website that has it, so I didn't really... 
here's a list. Here's a list. Okay. Like, we're going to do it. Exactly. Didn't look too much into it. Yeah. Um, and so I, we asked the question, and then we have to answer, and if we get it right, you get a point. And it's the first one to 25. So we have, like, our list on a napkin. Because <laughs> we didn't have paper in the house. There's no paper in this house. <laughs> Anyways, to the first question, what is, I think the first one was, what is your full, what is your full name? So, your full name is Avon Marie Schramm. Oh, you almost got said my old last name. I know. So, Sabrina Devine Griswold. No. <gasps> Magnuson Griswold. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the Magnuson. Everyone does, but all, all my legal stuff, my IDs, is always like Sabrina Magnuson, because that's legal. Yeah. It's not a married name. It's just what I was born with. Neither parent want to give up either last name. So we're just stubborn as hell. So we just. As they do. Merged it. So do we both have one point or do you have one point? I have one point. You did not guess on the first try. Oh, great. Okay. One point to Sabrina. One point. All right. What state was I born in? In California. Yeah. Yeah. California. Yeah. 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 Okay. Both get one point for that one. Yes. This is going to be a hard one. Why? Because, like, I can never remember the exact date of your birthday. What is your birthday? <laughs> Bish. <laughs> Bish. You can't. I know it's a May. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, I have a disability with numbers, remember? I, I know, know you do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> like, you do, actually. No, yours is December 21st. What year? 92. <laughs> I thought I was going to catch you there. Yeah, um, 92. I'm going to say May 25th, 1993. Was that right? No. <sighs> Darn it. It's May 19th. Okay, it was close. One nine. The teenage year. That's what it is. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I will gracefully accept that I lost there. <laughs> Failure. Fail. Ooh, here's a tricky one for you. Mm. What's your astrological sign? Or what's my astrological sign? Sagittarius, but you also border on Aquarius. So Capricorn. Capricorn. Which one is it? Capricorn. <laughs> Great. Um, I don't do astrological signs. It's just tricky. What year? I know. It's a common phrase. <laughs> when someone's not being, like, able to compromise. Are you an Aries, too? No. Okay, I was like, I was like, that's what that's what Jasmine and Gary are. So I'm like, I know that one. No, 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 no. We're lazy. We like luxury things. Well, we like I know you do. But it's also in the sign. Like that's one of the major top three. I want to say that you're a water sign. No. No. Okay, we're the same. Okay. Well, I'm like, obviously I'm Capricorn. No, but it's Capricorn and Virgo are in my. I I don't know. What is it? Give it to me. It's an Earth sign. I'm not that much into <laughs> astrological stuff. Uh, I'm just going to start guessing stuff. Virgo? No. Pisces? No. Taurus? Yes. There we go. Okay. The bull. <laughs> stubborn as a bull. Uh, You're being stubborn as a bull right now. You are stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is one food that I can't live without? There's a lot. Gotta pick one. Brownies. Like Ghirardelli brownies. Yeah, you got me. Ghirardelli brownies. Um, I'm gonna say pizza for you. I like it. You totally have pizza all the freaking time. Well, because I Honestly, I would say it. Cheesecake Factory, but you know, that's not actually a specific food. True. <laughs> but yeah, I like Cheesecake Factory. You're there, like, every weekend if you could. You'd be there all the time. If I could, yeah. If you could. If you I know could. it's true, but that's not a specific food. No. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I like pizza. Yeah. Yeah, take it. Okay. You get a point. You get a point, too. I get another one from the sign. <laughs> Getting close. <laughs> oh. What are my parents' first names? I actually don't think I know yours. Oh no, um Hold on, I'm gonna see if she knows. Tara and Joe. Yeah. 
those are my parents' names. Um, I actually never was around to know your parents. Like, not around, but I've always referred to them as Mr. and Mrs. Bloom. Yeah. I've never, I think you're not. <laughs> no, your grandma's name is Sheila. <laughs> That's because I'm really close with my grandma. <laughs> and I know that. I know grandma Sheila. Um, don't. Uh, your brother is Ryan. <laughs> um, I'm going through the list. I've got Simba. Her. My cat. <laughs> Simba. <laughs> You can tell I really like Disney. I got Tigger, I got Chewy, I got Simba. <laughs> exactly. Um, Marie? That's my middle name. No, for your mom. No. No. I, I keep wanting to say Sheila or Shelly, but it's not. I know it's, it's not. It's a very popular, like, 50s, 60s name. Well, <laughs> golly gee, I don't know. <laughs> Kathy and Mark. Oh, now that you say it, now I now it clicks in my head. Now that you said it, Kathy. Yeah, I work. I my co one of my coworkers old coworkers is Kathy. That's what I'm saying. Like she always reminded popular. me of your mom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it was like a super popular name. Like yeah. almost everybody from like my mom's era is named Kathy. Like yeah. female. Kathy or yeah. So I just wanted to say that. Who was my first boyfriend slash girlfriend? You're gonna get this one wrong. I am hundred percent guarantee you're gonna get this one wrong. It wasn't Tyler. It was not. It Tyler. was not Tyler. Um, it was not somebody you would expect. I honestly don't know that I know. No, 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 no. I don't know actually. I'm gonna say yours was Brandon. No, no. He was the first like real boyfriend I had, but I also had like a boyfriend before. That. I was twelve. Oh, was that like the Mike, the yeah, hockey guy? Yeah, Mike. And then he kept trying to text and call me later on, and yeah. I was like, "Yeah, no." He's dead now. Oh, did he? How he did overdosed. He oh, well, that's lovely. From basically like, a mutual friend that we had. So it was. I felt bad because he was a good kid. He just made poor decisions because <laughs> of his the people who was influencing him. One of my exes are my current boyfriend. I think he is. He probably is. You I know who I'm is. talking about. Too. I know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we know. We know. Uh, mine was Spencer. Oh, yes, I remember. And then he came up and he was um, no longer straight. <laughs> I was the only girl that he wanted uh, to ever date. date. And, then and then he, he decided, decided, he was like, yep, I dated you. Decided that wasn't really the path I for like me. I like boys. And I like boys. And I'm like, okay, well, I mean, I, I don't know. you were. I was hurt at first, but then I realized it wasn't that I turned him gay because he was already gay. He just he didn't just, know. He sure. just the only girl that he ever really wanted to date. Like, I made a gay guy straight for me. That's how... For a second. For a second. For, for a, a second. second. That's how I'm looking at that one, okay? I remember that in middle school. I do remember that yeah. now, yes. Yeah. Yes. So I made a gay guy straight for a hot second. Mm -hmm. And he was my first boyfriend. And he was mm -hmm. very sweet on me. So he was very sweet. And the only Spencer boyfriend, was sweet. Only boyfriend to ever get me a teddy bear on Valentine's Day. That's not true. My husband did, but... Um, but that's later on. But that was way down. Like, all through, like, your impressional years yeah. and, your, like, your, you know, teenage years. Like, that's all you want as a teenager. Mm -hmm. As a girl, anyways, you want that romance. Yeah. And those little boys don't do it for you because they don't count. Yeah. They don't know any better. Except for their small few. Small few do. But. It was very sweet. Very, very sweet. So. All right. So we both don't get a point for that. We don't get a point for that one. Nope. What's my favorite color? Like... I want to say it's like that um, peachy pink. I'll give it to you because it was in your wedding as well. Because you were saying how much you liked it, and then it's teal. like it's like the sunset color. It's yeah, the um, sunset I think it's peachy. called like salmon maybe. Oh maybe yeah, I think salmon. I mean, salmon's pretty like pink, so maybe maybe more like just peach, like a peach pink. Yeah, yeah. And then yours, I think. But, like, as far as, like, colors I wear and that I like to decorate with, it's pink. Like, a light pink, like, pastel pink. Yeah. I was just thinking my favorite color in general. My like, favorite is purple. Yeah. So like, I wouldn't be decorating my house peach anytime soon. No. <laughs> Though my mom did for the bathroom when we were She did. Up. Yeah. She did, yeah. We each get a point, or you get a point? Uh, I think you get a point. I don't know which one you're going. What do you think? I said peach pink. What's your favorite color? Yeah. Is it or is it not? It is. Okay, then we all get a point. Mm -hmm. All right. 
did I ever have chicken pox? Yes. <laughs> our rock hydrates on our Girl Scout trip, but we yes. were learning how to ride horses. She broke out in chicken pox, and our, our our leader was like, everybody, get away from her, get away from her, get away from her. And she turned to me, she's like, you had chicken pox? I said, yes, I was helping her out. Yeah. Feel better, so her parents came so to Rawhide Ranch. So that gave me the answer, yes. <laughs> up. Yeah, but that's, but that's the story behind it. Yeah, it was so sad, because I got home, and I was like, I gave the horse chicken pox, and it was so yeah. sad. And she I was, thought that. I thought that, and apparently you can, I don't think horses, you can give horses chicken, chicken pox. pox, but I was so sad. So Rawhide Ranch is like a horseback riding ranch. Yeah, type thing. and, and we had been trained. We had been, um saving up to go there for years with our troop yeah and i got to go there for two days and on the second day i broke out in chicken box so it was yeah. like no yeah and you're we were training there for the weekend to be in a horse show to see if you wanted to perform in the, the animal horse show that they they did i believe that was the name of it it was like a week that's what it was and that's why we were there yeah so to get our um like some badge that we had to get yeah horseback riding horseback riding badge. Badge. Yeah. but um yeah, you guys sign, all signed a bandana and gave mm-hmm. you a little horse stuffy. It was yeah. so cute. I remember that. Mrs. Libby went and dropped it by, so we didn't get a point for that one. Yeah. Boop. Boop. Wait, did I? Yeah. Okay. Just making yeah. sure. You literally said it, too. I, I was <laughs> like, uh, you just gave it to me, <laughs> but okay, thank you. Free point. <laughs> Not that I didn't already know, since you were helping me with the chicken pox at Rawhide, but, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. We're going to skip that one, so. Um... We talked about we didn't want to talk about that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, what is the name of my favorite childhood pet? And we're talking 18 and younger. I'm going to say Simba. I was, I was going to say Lucy. Was it? Was it Simba? Or was it Pluto? Mm-hmm. 18 and younger. 18 or younger? I'm saying younger than 18 because it's a childhood pet, oh. not... Adult pet. <laughs> I don't remember. Bigfoot. Oh, the birdie! Yeah. Yeah, the birdie! Yeah, I remember yeah, the birdie he now. Was, he was so cool. He was. He's uh, For me, it'd be a tie between two. I'm going to say Lily. Lily. Okay. Lily. I was thinking um, the other one would have been your dog at your mom's house. Lucy. Yeah, Lucy. Yeah, we got them at the same time, but Lily was a little bit older. We got her first, like, like about, like, a month prior. So, yeah. It was Lily. So, we Yes. Ooh, we're catching up. Okay. Uh, that one is an easy one. When and where did we meet? I say school. In middle school. Elementary school. Yeah. Yeah. Probably ESS because you were yeah. in the PM class and I was in the AM class. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's where we met. Yeah. I remember. All right. Uh, did I ever get written up in school, and what for? Well, there was a point of um, elementary school, fifth grade, where you weren't really getting written in school for anything. Yeah, I know. Um, I I want to say yeah. I think you were. But what for? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna say no for you. I was never. You were, you were baby teachers. I was a little bit rebellious. A little bit. I mean, I rebelled using the word written up in school. No, actually, I wasn't written up for this, but I got in a fight with a teacher in, in eighth grade, my math teacher. <laughs> She's like, you're taking this class for is a it, second time, Sabrina. I said, and what? Is that Mr. Lasko? No, Lasco? it was an older lady. She had glasses, short hair. Joanne. Oh, Joanne was her first name. Her. No, we, she's like, Sabrina, this is the second time you're taking pre-algebra in a row. I'm like, and what you going to do about it? Apparently, you can't teach because I can't learn. And I have a t- tutor at home. So what do you want to do about it? <laughs> she don't like it. Like, you're making us do was busy that work. Mink? No, not Mink. Mink was our social um, studies. Like, the only other person I could think of was Pillsbury, and it's definitely not Mink. No, 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 no. No, her name was Joanne. I remember her oh, Tuesday. Oh, I old remember lady. her. Because I was in the same yeah. class as you because I had my math disability and didn't know. So yeah. I'm just I'm like, just... numbers look funky to me. I yeah. can't remember anything. <laughs> no. No, but Literally. I didn't get written up for that. We did have a parent teacher conference when we did, but I was not written up. I was written up. My mom was making fun of me to the teacher. She's like, well, Sabrina, you have, like, this glossy look in your eye every time we talk about math. I'm like, I wonder why. 
I don't like it. So I got written up in elementary school because we were making a ant amusement park in the sandbox. And we? No, not me. I'm like, not me, not me and you. This was uh, Dennis and Samantha. Dennis, son, I don't remember. And I was so excited because my mom finally packed me a Pringles cup. And it made a really good roller coaster ride. And my friend, Samantha, grabbed that shit from me. <laughs> Language. Grabbed that from me. I said the F words. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> grabbed that from me. And she crumpled that. And I was so mad that I punched her in the face. <laughs> yes. So I got I I got in trouble with the principal. Got written up, and like I felt like I was on the dirt list. And literally the next day, I found a wallet with like two hundred bucks in it, and I turned that into the office. And then I got to sign the principal's good book. So it was like whiplash. It was like a terrible so, person, and then wonderful again. One eighties all around. So yeah, I did get written up, but you know, just one time. She stole my Pringles cup. Yeah, the Pringles cup. It didn't even have Pringles in it. She just, just the cups. It was just the cup to make my aunt amusement park in the sandbox. <laughs> anyway. Which is sad because there's like a whole generation that's not going to know what it's like to grow up in the sandbox outside at recess. I know because of COVID. With it's kids. so sad. It and is. like I, being a teacher, I'm hearing about a lot of people who are skipping kindergarten because in the United States, like you do not have it's to. Not go, it's not mandatory to go to kindergarten. Um, and so it's a lot of people are going into first grade, but by first grade, they don't have the skills. They don't have the skills. So they're going to be at an older school. So I don't think it's going to make any sense. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway. Next question. Next question. I got to Oh, wait, I got a point for that, didn't I? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get written up. I got partial right. I just didn't know what for. What was my first job? At the YMCA. Yep. So yeah, lifeguarding. And yours was with the Mountain Dew Company? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was an easy one. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Let's skip this one because this will. Do you have any scars? That's like way too many. Way too you have a lot of scars, so. Yeah, we'll just skip that one. That was just too many. Lots of surgeries, yeah. including an ankle transplant. Mm -hmm. Lots of surgeries. And I have a scar that I don't want to talk about. Because it's in a, in a broken place, so. <laughs> when I had surgery. Um, what food do I hate? <laughs> Ooh, um. Beef? No. I don't think there's a whole lot I hate. Oh, I got stuff I hate. Mm -hmm. I bet you you but, hate well, it, Well, you don't hate it, but you're allergic. No, I don't hate them. Yeah. Actually, I wish I could have them so I could have s'mores. I have no idea why I'm allergic to them because they're just a cracker. Like, I don't know. It's like definitely it's some, not something. Different. I don't know. Definitely not something I can eat. Apple wire. Um, as far as my hate, I feel like it's a fish, like a type of fish. It's not, I don't know, maybe it's a vegetable. I don't know, actually. I don't you like, eat a lot of vegetables, so I don't I know. love vegetables. You do. I, am, so. I can easily eat a vegetable. Or a pest vegetable. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like sauerkraut. Oh. I don't like anything Sour, with sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is so disgusting. I, I agree with that. But I That's what I was like going to guess for you. That's no, 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 there's a bigger one than that that I don't like. I know, but it's just one of the things you hate. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really care for That's it. the one I was going to guess for you, too, because most people don't like it. And my mom and dad, like, my dad is very into our Polish, Polish heritage. So my mom was, too. And so my dad would be like, because you're Polish, you have to like sauerkraut. And I was like, no, that's not a thing. I don't need to like sauerkraut. And, yeah, so he would tell me I couldn't leave the table until I could eat it. And so I'd hide it in mashed potatoes. I'd hide it in, like, applesauce. And I just really did not do anything for the flavor. It was just horrible. So overpowering. I love brat, though. Brat is really good. Brat works, yeah. Yeah. But I, yeah, I'm just not a whole big sauerkraut person. Yeah. 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 For you, I'd also guess tomatoes. Like no, I, I, I'll find them somewhere. I don't care. 
Yeah, exactly. But I like them in things. My biggest one is salad. Yeah, you don't do salads. You no. don't do salads. So throw up. It's I like because whenever you come over my house, I'm like, okay, I gotta make sure I don't have salads for dinner. Please, please, absolutely, please, please. I will throw up. And then you will, and you don't do salads. Tomatoes by yourself can go up your sauerkraut. And I'm trying to think of some Brussels other sprouts. Excuse me. Brussels sprouts are pretty good. I love Brussels sprouts. But then again, Gary hates them too. He says he hates the what's the cabbage. No, it's a leaf. <laughs> You're like, I ain't no vegetarian. I'm no. not eating this. <laughs> All right. I think I got a point there. Yeah. And then you. Nope. All right. Let's see. What else? Uh, well, this might be easy. I think Mountain Dew. Yeah. 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 Mm, for you. You're like, I'm taking that point. I got a point, finally. <laughs> um, I don't know. This is a tough one. Why? There's only two. In two sodas in the entire world that I actually like. I know you like Cactus Cooler. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do like Cactus Cooler. Yes. I have an underrated pizza. Yeah, you always, like, have it in your little, like, snacky stash. Yeah. I Well, not so much anymore because I'm just cutting back on my soda intake, which has been really good. But yeah, that is one that I will snatch. <laughs> if I see it in the grocery store, I'm like, put it in the cart. It's gone. I was like, okay, I think I got this one. Yeah, okay. practice cooler. All right, fine. That's like, like, a, like are you a starting West to get, Coast you're starting to get really competitive. You're like, mm, I'm gonna put the down. <laughs> Getting close to the end here. <clears throat> yeah, all right. My favorite band or music artist? You have a lot. I know. I think we might skip this one just because yeah. I like. I don't like bands. I like songs. songs. Yeah. We'll so skip let's skip it. that one. I have a childhood. I have a few childhood favorite ones, like growing up. But like, it's there's just a lot. What is my strongest subject in school? I think uh, music. Yeah. Mm. Music. Yeah. One of your strong ones. Um, I wouldn't say PE because of the I, asthma. Oh, I just running a mile. My best time was like eight minutes. So I would ever. say, but I like PE. I, was I know you sports. like PE, but it's their strongest subject. So I would probably say I don't know, maybe history. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. good at history. That's what I'm saying. Pretty good. Yeah, definitely not math. <laughs> <laughs> But then again, that's both of us here. <laughs> yeah, we're both not that good. So, so I would say I would history. probably say history. Yeah. I like history. I will watch like history movies and things like that. Yeah. Okay. Both points there. I was a music major before mm -hmm. I switched to education and was music performance for flute. And yeah. but I also played the piano and I played guitar mm -hmm. and I played I was in choir and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, I was in theater and color guard. And I did soccer, softball, I was on the dance troupe outside of school. I did a volleyball. I did my sub sister for the beach volleyball because I grew up in East Orange Beach. Um, I played basketball with my brother, my younger brother, because he was playing basketball. That's what I did. I love sports. I'm sure. I do. Which one are you doing? I just. I just running is not you're my. not your thing, and that's what you used to be timed on and get scores for in, in high school. It was like it doesn't that's matter what, how, doesn't matter how you do in swimming, doesn't matter how you do in volleyball, doesn't matter how you exactly. No, it was like that mile. That's the only thing you're getting graded on. Yeah, that like made or break your yeah. PE performance. Okay, this is an easy one. Oh, we got to put points. I think did we put points for that last one? I don't know. I don't think we did. Okay. Um. What is your weakest subject? Math. <laughs> Math. <laughs> Math. <laughs> that was an easy one. That's our weakest, but I'm hoping to get better at it. I'm going to skip this one because I already got married. So. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> it was like, what kind of wedding do you want to have someday? Um, I already had mine. <laughs> you had yours. I didn't have mine. Yes. Um, we'll see. Not here. the kind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're 
not going to go into that. We're just going to slide on past that one. That's a whole different story. We're not going to go there. That's a whole other story time. Yeah. If people not, want to hear it. If you want to hear about it, maybe we'll talk about it. But maybe. I don't know. She's, don't she's know. deciding whether she wants to talk about that one. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is my Netflix binge show? <clears throat> right now? I don't know. Right, right now, I'm not really binging anything. Can it be just like binge show that it has to be on Netflix? I think it's just like whatever show you enjoy watching and you'll watch it over and over again. I think Game of Thrones. I liked it the first time, but I wouldn't go back and rewatch it. No? Yeah. So you were binging it. I was binging it. So I'll give you the point for that. Okay. So that's the last movie I remember you saying that you were binge watching. Yeah. I am currently watching Teen Titans, the like live action one and then um i'm also watching with gary uh we just rewatched Battlestar galactica again and we're gonna start with buffy oh yeah buffy the vampire slayer yeah love i love that one i love I will that watch one. it over and over and over yep. again so um for you i'm gonna say grace anatomy you were watching that i was a few years ago but i stopped watching it after like season 14 and bachelor Season one. I only, I only watched that one really? series with you. Really? Yeah, that okay. series. Okay. The one that I've been binge watching in the last year is called Outlander. It's on Netflix. It's so good. Okay, but I love it. So good. I'm only close to blind. So. Okay. Like, it only took one. Anyway. Maybe, it, maybe it's like where I'm sitting. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Okay, anyways. Anyway, back to this. Um... Who was my first kiss? Oh, this is a difficult one. I'm going to say Mike for you. No. Really? It was not Mike. Oh, wait, no, it was Brandon. It was definitely Brandon. Oh, my 13th birthday. I should have known that. (laughs) I was there. (laughs) I was there. (laughs) there. And we, like, were celebrating in the car, like, afterwards. Yeah. 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 No, I remember that. Okay. Again. I don't think you're going to get this one, because I really haven't talked about it. No, I would say Tyler, but I don't think that's it. Okay. It was um, Dennis' son. When oh, I, was, I remember. Yeah. When I was like six. Elementary. Yeah. Yeah. Like at my birthday like party. Yes. Okay. Well, I, I didn't get it right the first time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to like no. give me a boost. No. <laughs> <laughs> what was my first car? Oh, it was like a Ford. Mm. Like the red no, it wasn't red. Actually, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. It wasn't a red it Ford. It was not my red Ford. Mm, I don't know. Yours is the Pontiac. Yeah, because I I've, still have it. I've had the same car for over 10 years. Yeah, and it was her dad's car before years. that, so I'm like, I know that car for forever. Yeah. Mine was that Honda that had the hole in the exhaust. It sounded like... That's right, the yeah, Honda. Yeah, the Honda. Yeah. yeah. Rest in peace. I forgot about that. That one, uh, that one I... Was was on death's door when I bought it, yeah. and it was done by the time it got I got rid of it. <laughs> More than done. More than done. It had a hole in the exhaust, and you could literally hear it from like three miles away. Like my friends would know when I was coming up the street because. Yes. <laughs> because it was so loud, and you could hear it. I do remember that. It was so loud. My neighbors complained when I came yeah. home too late because it would wake them up. I just think I have more memories of the Ford because that's well, that's the one I have the longest. Yeah, I mean, yeah. my Jetta is still old. But I, I think I had the Jetta almost as long as I had the Ford. Mm-hmm. Almost. That's close. That's close. It's pretty close. Uh, what shoe size do I wear? Do you think you're like eight? No, <laughs> nine and a half. Oh, nine. I'm like, you're not a ten. I know you you're have, not double digits. You have like tiny ass feet. I'm gonna say five and a half to six. Six and a half. Oh, I see. I give you credit for being smaller than you actually are. Mm-hmm. You did. Feel good about yourself. You did. Yep. Well, at least both of us can. So that's okay. <laughs> so okay. Let's see here. We don't really have favorite clothes and brands. No. No. Favorite short store to shop at. 
Uh, what's my favorite lucky number? Do you have a number? lucky number? Oh, okay. I don't have a lucky number. Uh, we don't really watch sports. There's only one sport that I watch. Well, currently almost two. It was, what is my favorite sport? Which is probably baseball. pretty good. I was gonna keep I was gonna guess baseball for you. That was my guess because you went to Padres games with me yeah, all the time. Guess. It was yeah. Baseball. Uh, da, 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 da. what oh, what is a hobby of mine that you only had growing up? A hobby of yours that I had growing up. Not one that I currently have. Okay. Oh, the la- making those little lanyard thingies. We both did that. And that's not really but a hobby. It was because we did it all the time. And like making friendship bracelets. Okay, fair enough. Like we did it was all the time. Okay. But that's what it is. You did the same thing. So I'm gonna say that for you too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Go give us a point. Oh, Do I like ketchup, mustard, or both? I think you're ketchup. Okay. I like both. You're definitely I'm a ketchup tra- person. Yeah, I'm a ketchup person. I'm trying to remember everything. I do it on my corn dogs and I do it on my hot dogs, but I don't do it on my burgers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And normally I have. I'm trying to remember who you were the hot dog person with. Which I never was. Maybe she was. Yeah, I guess. Let's get a point. Where do we like to go to unwind? Um, the beach. Yes. You too? We love the beach. Yeah. Have we'll I just keep going. Yeah, we'll just keep going. Have I ever been fired? Mm, yeah. No. No, no, you were. it was I just, close. I just have really unlucky situations. Yeah. yeah, like that's just bosses who don't want to admit that she's a human being, and problems come up. Yeah, and it's a thing. Life happens, and unfortunately, I have a lot of really unlucky things that happen in my life, like getting hit by motorcycle or getting hit on my motorcycle. Yeah. yeah. And then um, a nasty spider bite. Oh, and a nasty spider bite. Poisonous spider bite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thankfully, that has nothing to do with the boss that I have right now. My boss yeah. is great right now. Okay. So far, two. so good. So far, so good. <laughs> Mine has been really good for me, like, to me. Um, and a lot of other people would say otherwise. But she's been, I she's had, good to me. I had an employer in the past where I had workers' comp, and they did not want to pay for a workers' comp. Anyway, um, uh, we're not going to go there. You guys don't need to know how much money I make. <laughs> no, you don't. None of your business. Uh, if I could go anywhere, where would I go? I think Baja or San Felipe. Canada for you. Yeah. 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 Ooh, I got that one. I loved it there. I know. You. I would vacation there. I don't know that I would live, but I'd vacation. I would hate to like shovel shit. Yeah, I would too. That's like not a thing I'd want to do, but it would be fun to go up there. I did shovel snow a little bit when I lived in South Carolina, and like ice every morning off my car. I don't know. That if I could get a really good Wi-Fi connection, I would live in Mexico. Yeah, I come with you. <laughs> like I'll just live down there. I come with you. <laughs> we have we have a beach house that literally like the beach mm-hmm. is like right there, right there. You can just like walk, walk into out. the water. Yep. It's fantastic. Yeah, um, isolated. Love it. Love it. Thought about going down there for COVID, but I didn't know if I could get back. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. That was, that was the question. It was like, oh, I could go down here in quarantine and just be in the waves all summer. Mm. I don't think we can box the country. So. But if I want to go back to the United States because it's getting a little chilly, I don't know if I can get back. Yeah. <laughs> don't know if the border will open. Oh, no. Anyway. <laughs> um, Peter Chibi. Did we do points for that one? Yeah. Okay. Points. Well, I'm getting tired. But we'll keep going past. We can go past a little bit. Am I a cat person or a dog person? Dog. 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 Absolutely. Cats are growing. I love cats. I have two of them. Had two of them. Not a, 
I had one. I had a cat and a dog. My name is Stella. Legit. Her name is Stella. She's a black and white. She's like a tuxedo cat. She has a cute little bell on her with a bright pink collar. So cute, but she was a little pink bitch. <laughs> I have Tigger, who is an asshole and will only hang out with my brother. And then there's Simba, who's just this big Maine Coon cat that really yeah. got his brain fried from being in the too desert warm. sun. He literally <laughs> ran into a cactus and poked its eye out. Like he ran head first into it. Like it Steve it out. Anyway. Um yeah, but he's sweet. He's not blind or anything. He's he's like the best little thing. But yeah, yeah he's <laughs> he's a special snowflake. He's a snowflake. But he I is love a special snowflake. I love my dog. <laughs> mm-hmm, I love dogs too. Uh favorite superhero. Trick question. Have I ever been to a car accident? Yes. No, because it was a motorcycle accident. <laughs> I've been in a car accident. I know you have. Well, we'll, we'll count it, though, because, I mean, technically, I a, car a car was involved in your accident. This is true. <laughs> at least I wasn't at fault, though. Or at least I don't think so. Yeah, you weren't at fault. I wasn't at fault with mine, either. I mean, better than it could have been. Uh, I don't go to Dairy Queen. I did the other day. <laughs> I had such a bad day at work. I just like drove myself. It says, there. "What do you like in your DQ Blizzard?" I'm like, I haven't have ever had one, so I don't know. We will answer that. How do I like my tea or coffee? We just had this earlier. Um, tea is too tea with too much sugar. Say one too much sugar. No. No. Two. Two. Yeah. Two. I got Sorry. one. Sorry. <laughs> uh, do you have any weird talents? Weird talents? Yeah. Do it. Well, think of my weird talents. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I have some. I have some weird. I don't really share it because it's weird. weird. Like, I wouldn't probably, I don't know, I don't. Probably because I roll, that I roll my tongue a lot. Well, I'm supposed to guess yours. I know, but I don't, but you wouldn't know that. I guess. Because I don't do it. Like, you can make a really cool clicking noise. <laughs> there you go, there's your word talent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Mine is that I can pop my shoulder blades out. And oh pull yeah, and like that. like this thing. Yeah, yeah, I can like relax yeah. my shoulder blades and they chew, chew. We don't want. I can pop my shoulder blades out and like hold things with them. Yeah, I remember I that. I like I don't that. do it because it's weird. So like it's not. It's so creepy. It's something I used to do in like middle school, school because it was like okay, A like it's do. fun to do, but yeah. like. I don't really do it now. It's not like I go to a party and like, hey guys, hey guys. do you need a do you need a beer? <laughs> I'm gonna show the place get you your beer. Here you go. Bring it to you. <laughs> yeah, not a thing. Not a thing. Um, let's see here. Um but I got your clicking noise. Yeah, you did. I gave it to you. Ah. I think you won. Woo! I won. So Except fun. we'll keep playing because we'll, we'll, we'll go a little bit farther. Um, what is your favorite Disney princess? Here's my Belle. Is, it's well, it's Belle. One of them, but I've well, I have a couple too, but yeah. mostly Belle. If you if you pick one of my my couple of favorites, I'll Belle. Yeah, Belle. Both of us are Belle. Yeah. I like to think that she turned the library into a school for all the kids in the town and taught them all how to read. Yeah. So cute. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry. That's my cute thing. Cute thing. <laughs> okay. Um, what is a usual breakfast? A usual. My schedule changes. I don't have a usual. Hey, breakfast. I'm supposed to be guessing for you. You just keep you just keep answering it for me. I know, but it's just you, you're just not gonna guess it because they don't have. A usual. I don't really have a usual breakfast either. I just like I think tea or coffee. Yeah, usually like tea. Okay. Uh, I don't want to talk about. 
We're not going to talk about this again. Um, have I ever had anything stolen? Yes. Yes, <laughs> you have. I have some, and you have too. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Some some friend friends of your brothers snuck into your room, mm-hmm. took some stuff, took took my underwear, took my rods, <laughs> took my clothes, took my money that I had hidden. Yep. I had hidden very well. Yep. What did I have stolen? I feel like your wallet. It was so not my. Oh wait, yes, yeah. it was. I almost forgot about that one. Yeah. I had something that was bigger that was stolen <laughs> than my wallet. <laughs> I had my wallet stolen on the way to Vegas. Uh-uh. No car. Well, technically. It was in my car. Oh, your food. Yeah. Your food was stolen. My parents' house was in front of a police station, like, literally on the right same there. street. Like, you can see it. You can see it from there. And they broke into my car and stole my flute right in front of the police station. The police never found them. My 2000 dollar instrument. Yeah. I could have bought myself a brand new car. Well, not brand new. But, but a new car. A mm-hmm. usable car. A better car. <laughs> that car. <laughs> that car. Yes. <laughs> Next thing in reference. Uh, anyway. Um, I was thinking. Uh, I'm not going to admit to any of that on here. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Uh, have you done anything illegal? Um, yeah, I'm not gonna. If you did it, it's you tricky. don't. You don't explain it. You, you don't, don't. You don't talk I'm about. Not, it. I'm protecting you, and you protect me, me, and we are not gonna say that. We're not talking about that stuff. Yes. Um. Let's see here. You uh, don't openly admit. Yeah, that you did <laughs> something. <laughs> that would be really stupid. Like, but people do it. I know. Even if it's years later, you just don't. You don't talk about it. Mm-hmm. It's your skeleton. We're just gonna leave that at that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see here. Um, we're not spilling any tea. We're today. not spilling any tea. Nope. Okay. No. No not tea. At our tea no party. tea spilled. <laughs> um. Let's see here. Flip flop or tennis shoes? Flip flops. Flip flops. That's an easy one. Live in yeah. San Diego. That's, that's the thing. I'm in flip floppy right now. I wear them right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Favorite class. Favorite class? Okay, like ever or like high school or like I'm college, just saying. Or? I'm just saying. We'll just call it favorite subject. Uh, I love theater. Um, I'm supposed to guess you. So I'm you're... sorry. I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> then you want to call it? You want to call it? I don't like to be answering questions though. Okay, then we'll answer for ourselves. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you said your favorite class was theater. Yeah. Mine was probably choir. Choir was really. Or band during the off season. Loved band during the off season. Literally, you do nothing. Like, you go in. We never had an off season for choir. <laughs> we after marching band season, there was like two months where like we concert literally band. well before concert band started because there's concert band season and there's marching band season. There's this weird gap where there's two months of just doing nothing, and so we literally go to the band room for like even especially on like the the block days when we yeah. have two hours. Literally, go to the band room and play like yeah. we would just pull out cards we would yeah people were playing games people percussionists were would be throwing water bottles at each other's junk yeah. that was a game that was a game they would stand on the other side of the room like with this like this or like spread like this and, and you're they trying would... to hit them with the water bottle at their crotch i'm pretty sure most of them are now sterile um, probably 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 should go check my husband <laughs> <laughs> He was one of those drummers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if he ever played that game. Oh, I haven't checked. Asked. I don't know. I haven't asked him. <laughs> I would think lower of him if he did. I don't think he would. I, I feel like he would. But I don't he, know. Well, actually, he could <laughs> have. He could have. Actually. He, was, he was definitely a character in high school and middle school. Yeah. Uh, no good. I, I met my uh, husband in middle school. That was a fun year. Mm-hmm. I don't have one. Uh, do you still play with toys? If so, which ones? No, we're not talking dirty toys. We're talking normal toys. Um, just puzzles. Yeah, you were doing puzzles. I was, I mean, I still play with the lightsabers that Gary makes. Gary makes, like, my husband, he makes these, like, legit-looking lightsabers. They're, like, made out of metal. Have like cool. Yeah, have, like, little crystals inside. We'll put them to Disneyland. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we'll hit each other with them just for fun. You had them at your wedding. I did. Your first dance we was should, a whole battle. We should upload that, uh, that video.
video because I have that video. It would be really cool. Your first dance? Yeah, my first dance, the one with uh, the lightsaber. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. cool. It was um, the first half was a Beauty and the Beast like dance, dance like with um, like legit dance, not like sway back and forth. It was like mm-hmm. an choreographed dance. Yeah. And then um, that we helped. We helped. Yep. Uh, I had choreographed. I had uh, my maid of honor and the groom best man standing on sides and then as yeah. soon as the song was over we went over and we grabbed lightsabers and we did a lightsaber battle, battle, battle. to duel fates and it was awesome and I won actually no technically he, he won. won yeah there was one part where I almost didn't win but yeah it was fun that was choreographed too so yeah we helped <laughs> yeah we all helped with that yeah it was, it was fun <laughs> it was fun it was definitely it fun. was a really fun um first dance to watch like as her bridesmaid it was really fun to just see it because seeing, like, all the background and, like, all the work that we put into it, and, like, there's a moment where, like, he's not going to get this. Like, he still hasn't practiced, and it's, like, a week before the wedding, mm-hmm. and we're just, like, what the hell, Gary? Like, yeah. get it together, bro. And, um, and mean, it came together. I mean, me and him choreographed the Beauty and the Beast part. Yeah. And then we kind of did the lightsaber one because he, he was busy with um, work. I'm yeah. not going to say what he does, though. No. But with work. Right here. But with work. It, it, it came together really nicely, though, the last one. Yeah. When they actually It was it. very nice. And we can share that we, on here. We will try and share that on here. I'll have to go and grab my clip. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to obviously where I pulled my stuff out here. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be cool. I don't we'll have to check it out. Maybe cool. we'll do it on a, a Talk Show Tuesday or something. We'll just yeah. make that one of our uploads. Yeah. So. There you go. Yeah. Something to look forward to. Yeah. A in little the future. Easter egg. Yeah. All right. Um... Want to do like two more? We'll do like two more. Do you prefer chocolate or cookie? Chocolate. 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 Hundred percent. We're female. Always chocolate. Come on. Like no <laughs> female chocolate. We always want chocolate. And if my one of my things I can't live without is brownies, chocolate. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, roller blades, roller uh, skates, at or roller blades or roller skates at a skating rink. None of them. Yeah, we don't really. We have don't want. Uh, I've never done. Uh, well, when it's snowing, would you choose to go skiing, snowboarding, ice skating, or sledding? I want to do snowboarding. I know how to ski, but I want to learn how to snowboard. I've never skied. I've never snowboarded, but I have gone ice skating. I used to work at an ice skating rink, mm-hmm. which was super fun. And on the holidays, they would put Christmas trees all over the rink, and so you would be skating in between the trees. It was super fun. Um, but here in San Diego, it doesn't snow enough to learn how to do sledding. So I've gone sledding before. I want to take yeah, Chewy we, sledding. I want sledding, but, and I know how to um, ski, and I just want to learn how to ski better. I think Chewy would really like sledding. He slides. He would. He likes to go on the slides at the playgrounds, like, we'll go and walk up the steps, and then we I have a video of that one, too. We I can should probably upload that, that one, too. Um, but, like, he'll come and he'll sit next to me, and we'll slide down the slide together, and yeah. it's it's fun, and he He enjoys it. He'll continue so. running in a circle. It makes me sad that I have to keep him on a leash because well, he would do it all by himself, and I wouldn't have yeah. to go up there with him. But it's still, it's still, it's safety a thing. First. Safety first. All right. Um, last one, and then we'll call it. What is your favorite Disney movie? Mm, I don't know because it always changes. Um, pick two because I have two. Well, is it like specifically a Disney movie or can it like be anything? See, like I have a DreamWorks one. Actually, probably, which is surprising because I love Disney so much, but I think... I think one of my favorite ones is the DreamWorks one as well, Anastasia. That's Fox, actually. Fox. I love it. How to Train Your Dragon. Oh my gosh, I love it, but it's technically DreamWorks. Oh yeah. yeah. I would would watch How to Train Your Dragon every day because I I love Anastasia. Um, But if it had to be Disney, um, probably Frozen, which... Frozen 2. It's a Frozen movie. 2 for the plot, Frozen 1 for the music. Like, I yeah. thought that Frozen 2's music, music kind of lacked a little bit. It's just a little bit. But Frozen, Frozen 1's music was really good. I liked it a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, or, um, hmm. probably Maybe. Hamilton. Uh, you do like Hamilton, but technically it's not, it's a, not Disney a Disney movie. movie. It's on Disney Plus, but it's not I know, a Disney you were movie. obsessed with I Hamilton. I watched Hamilton every single day. It's a three-hour movie, mind you. Every single day for the first three months that it came out. Yep. And I got all the music on my phone. I listened to it Call almost every day. Don't! <laughs> start like, singing it! Don't! Just ah. you wait. Just you wait. <laughs> Chewing. <laughs> I love Hamilton. Uh, what? Oh my gosh. 
I would like, say that would be your favorite, like, Broadway movie. musical. Yeah. Besides Cats, but yeah. You like Cats? I went to it. My mom took me, took me to it, Front Row Broadway in San Diego, when I was, like, eight years old. We were in the front row, and it came off stage, and this one cat came up onto my face. I was like, this is so cool, Mom. I was so happy. I had it on DVD for the longest time. I watched that one almost every day as a kid as well. And, and Wicked. Wicked. I love Wicked. Oh, and love Lion Wicked. King on Broadway. Oh my Lion god. Lion King was so insane. Good. So good. And so is Phantom. So funny story with Phantom. <laughs> if you sit in the back couple of rows, you can hear him talking behind you when he's watching her. So we were sitting in the back couple what? of rows because that's what we could afford as broke high school students. Yeah. And so we're like, okay, we can see like the sh- we can see it, but what whatever. And then like there'd be times where she'd be singing and you could hear him. So, like, he, he, it, that just, like, little tidbit, like, really made that for me when I was there. And I you can also see him, oh, you can also see him in the lighting. The lighting, there's, like, a catwalk where all the lights are. You can see him walking back and forth and watching her on the catwalk in different scenes. So, like, even though she has a scene with, like, somebody else, you can see him running back and forth and watching her. Like the, I didn't know that, but that's pretty it cool. It was very cool. It was very that's cool. That's pretty cool. Definitely yeah. made it for me when I was there. I definitely, definitely made it for me. Wicked was amazing. I cried at the end of Wicked. It was so it was good. A, it was so I bad. was crying at the end of Wicked. I didn't get so a chance happy. to see Adina Menzel in Wicked, though. I saw it more recently. I think I may have, because I saw this years ago. Yeah. Years ago. I know with my sorority in a couple of weeks, they actually are getting to do like a vocal meetup with one of the cast members from Wicked, Alphaba, the person who plays Alphaba. Yeah. So I'm like, I really want to go. So I might sign up for that, but that'll be yeah, so much. I can't wait to go back to theater, <laughs> to downtown, and see like musical productions I'm in so person. I can't, I can't wait. I'm, I'm just, the I first one that pops up, over. I'm going. I just want COVID to be over. I, mean, I know. Well, as, all the lockdown stuff I want over. Yeah, as nice as it, as it is to, like, be with our families and stuff like that, it's like, I want to go out with and my do family. Things, and go and to do concerts. Things. Yeah. Yeah. Though so, there is, I'm glad that they're bringing back some of the dri- drive-thru movies, right? Yeah, movies. drive-thru so movies. At least that, that That's really we nice. have a little bit here. Yeah. But, because they closed down some of them and then they reopened mm-hmm. them up because of COVID. Which yeah. Which is really nice. It's nice to bring back some of the older stuff. Mm-hmm. So, I like that. Anyways, anyways, um, back to Disney. Uh, my favorite Disney movie. I like a lot of Disney movies. What about Beauty and the Beast? I know you really like Belle. I don't know if you're like that's your favorite Disney movie. It's not my favorite movie. Um, I actually had a few favorite Disney movies that I liked when I was younger. I can't remember what they were. I think it was Moana. Moana. I really liked Moana. I think I also really liked Brave. Because Brave was really. Brave is good. And Tangled was really good. Yeah. I guess those would be my favorites. I, I watch them often. Yeah. Like, repeatedly and repeatedly. But if Hamilton was a Disney movie, I'm <laughs> she'd be her. all over that. Hamilton. I love it. And it's, like, so much history is in it. Like, that you can find as in that space. And it's, like, goes back to me having, like, enjoying history. Mm-hmm. And that that is, like, a good subject for me to bring up. Anyways, I yeah. think that's about it. That's and about it. Out. You guys learned a little bit about us. Oh, in the comments below, if you have any questions for us that you would like to learn about us, um, please put them below. We'll try and answer them if we can in the next Talk Show Tuesday. Yes. Um, and or on our Instagram page. I mean, follow I us. Too. Follow us on Instagram. We're cool. I mean, we're cool. We don't care. Um. Yeah, and we will see you guys. Again. Again. Soon. Soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye.